Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are on two, a whole two win streak. Where's Kane last time? We did good. Um, who do I want to play as? I've still got a few tainted characters to unlock here and there. Um, quite a few actually. Hmm. Weird that the Hollow, like if you look at the Hollow, he doesn't have the the mark. Like, all of these characters have that marking behind them on the "Who Am I" thing, and he doesn't for some reason. Strange. Anyways, um, certainly tempted to go and play some more of the modded characters. Maybe we could do Mastema. Have we done? Have we unlocked Tinted Mastema yet? I can't remember. Let's play. Let's play as him anyway. Let's play as him anyway. Either way, a character I haven't played as in a while. He's got some fun stuff going on. Lots of broken heart business and broken heart healing to be done. If I remember correctly, we have to go to the next floor or use the sack room or use the sanguine bond spikes to remove broken hearts. There's a few different methods. Um, but this guy, he's a lot of fun. And he starts with, I think, is it, is it quad shot? He starts with a six shot. Oh, no, it's triple shot. Okay. I couldn't remember. Either way, he starts off pretty strong. Because, um, of course, we can... Uh, fly and we have triple shot it's really good extra speed and stuff it's really nice but yeah this is a character that i really thoroughly enjoy and ooh, these room doors have got a bit of a redesign and i like them i like them a lot um i will most certainly do this and chase after that item spiders no thank you yeah i want to say these um oh god herming for some reason, I wasn't expecting to have Herming. Um, oh my goodness, that's pretty good to, to hold on to for a potential secret room. Kind of interesting. It's, I was hoping to destroy these poops in order to get Black Hearts, but they're a little bit hard to destroy, but very much worth doing because I'm pretty sure they can give Black Hearts. I think it's these ones that can give Black Hearts. Oh no, these will give Fiend Hearts, don't they? Either way, good stuff. Uh, that doll's kind of glitched out. Are you actually kidding me? You're going to give me Hurst Hat instead? Okay. I will most certainly take that. Oh, fuck me. I kind of forgot this guy was like an, a whole-ass boss. But yeah. Hurst Hat. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, thank you very much. It's going to cost us two broken hearts, but I'll most certainly take that deal. We can get the hell out of here. Yeah. Very, very good deal there, in my opinion. That was that was quite the quite the trade up, I'd say. From Mr. Boom to Hurst Hat, we now are immune to explosions. I like that a lot. I like that a lot and a lot. But yeah, this guy doesn't get like all devil deals like the other character does. Um, the other character has permanent devil deals, whereas this guy just has regular ass rooms. I think um, pretty nice for us, but with the associated extra costs of the Broken Heart variety. But yeah, I think a very, very decent first item. I'm very, very glad we got that room that had the uh, the risk reward thing going on in it. We also got these. These do cost um, Broken Hearts as well. Um, I think I'm just going to go with this, to be honest. Book of Belial is pretty damn good. Um, I'm not going to use it here. Just, yeah, for, for sp speed killing bosses a little bit more easily. It's going to be kind of nice. But yeah, we do have to be a little bit cautious of our broken hearts. They are uh, they are going to stack up very, very easily and very, very quickly. As for the question of the day, something basic. What's, what's something that you're watching? Are there a YouTuber, TV series? What's something that you're watching and enjoying right now? Uh, I'm currently on a rewatch of Parks and Recreation, as I tend to always be. I'm enjoying that quite a lot. I've not really been watching anything new recently. I've still been watching Dark Viper AU play uh, various games, mainly The Binding of Isaac, but he's recently released uh, his first time playing Into the Gungeon, so that's going to be entertaining to watch. Um, I'm going to uh, watch that later tonight when I go to the gym. He he has become my gym buddy, essentially. I, uh, I watch his videos whenever I go to the gym. Um, they're just like usually like a really good length for like a workout and like they're because it's him like trying games that i'm familiar with and he's not it's very engaging and entertaining to, to watch them so i get quite a lot out of them and uh which is just really entertaining to watch someone be brand new at a game you know you know a lot about um that's really good yeah it's it's interesting oh what the hell 
Okay. Not sure why we got that. But yeah, a raising one enemy. Not as powerful on Fiend Folio as it would be regularly, but still, it's good. That's also pretty good, but I think we're going to sip with what we've got. I am holding on to my Queen of Hearts right now um, for a potential of a second secret room, because there are a few second secret rooms that spawn like Eternal Hearts or Black Hearts um, that become very, very strong with that setup, so I'd like to try and do that. Second secret room could actually be... No. Oh, damn you. Ugh. So upsetting. Anyways, next floor. We do lose a broken heart here. We we take one away, toss it aside. Good, good. I love the fact that we have the hearse heart here. Don't know what enemy I erased there, but I'm going to hope it was something good. Fires, thank you. Please diminish. Good, good, good. This bad boy again. I love the, the, the door design. I don't know when that got added because I've not played this character in a good while, but I like it a lot. Clutch's Curse, it's not... It's not an item I love, but we do have Explosion Immunity, which makes it significantly... Actually, do you know what? Thinking about it, the fact that we have Explosion Immunity makes this actually a pretty good item, so I don't mind. <laughs> I was I had a hang-up about it because it, it, it can kind of screw you over, but now we have potentially infinite bombs and um, a good bit of extra DPS. I can definitely get on board with, uh, with that. I should be using my book more often here. Look at that bad boy. Taken care of nice and easily. And then we also have these uh, extra rocks that can do some business too. We want to utilize them. I'll go fight the boss now. Wait until Clutch is deep with inside me. Get in me. There you go. Really? That did like no damage whatsoever. That didn't hit you? Ah, this boss. Gross. And I realize there's... How gross this boss is has nothing to do with that bomb not hitting, but let me have my reasons. Let me complain the way I want to complain. Uh, there's too much going on on screen. Oh my. Also, Clutch's bomb has Herman. Did not know that. Just get out of here, you goddamn sausage. Go to another plane of existence, please. very much want that for you, and so does everyone else around me. Okay. We do get the choice between Angel and Devil here. I kind of forgot about that. Um, I guess we go Angel. Um, ooh, I'm very, very happy with Stairway here. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, it didn't work out the way I was hoping it would, but it kind of works. Um, I thought it was going to give me Eternal Hearts, but eh, kind of worked out. I guess I will bomb you. I'll pop this as well. Yeah, Clutch's Curse doesn't do as much damage as I thought it did. I thought it was a bit a bit better than that, but it's still infinite bombs nonetheless, so we can use it for secret rooms and stuff. It's it's the only caveat is obviously it's somewhat time based. And for regular enemies, it's probably enough damage to be happy with. Oh my. It's okay if we take damage here, though. We've got soul hearts about. Confessional. Excuse me. Grab that. Very happy with Stairway. We need to make sure we get enough money to utilize that fully. Um, by doing this, we'll pop the poops open. Try our best. We should probably do Care Room here as well. Why not? That's why not. Because sometimes you might get sweet nephil. Great. But yeah, the rocks are kind of hard to incorporate. Also, we got another library here. Wow. Two back-to-back -back is kind of strange. You're about to hop inside me. Yeah, that's lovely. Ooh, a golden penny as well. Okay, so this might cover some of our money troubles. It's at least going to get us up to uh, the requisite 15. If it can get us up to 30, I'd be in a stellar mood. But... I feel like that is incredibly wishful thinking. Goddamn love the off-screen indicators for the golden penny. I'll have to see where it shows up. Big rooms like this make it so difficult to know. And this just makes it so much easier. So far, so good. Okay, not bad at all. I will check this out. 
Uh, just in case there's anything significantly better than the book we have now. Um, I am going to take this. Because it's just very, very good. I realise if we took another one, we could get a bookworm. But that would cost me another heart. And yeah, I don't know how I do that. Why didn't I just use that in the first place? You fool. Yeah, this, this, this active is just absolutely bonkers with how good it is. A little pancakes book. I'm not actually sure if it's meant to be pancakes, but it certainly looks like it. I think it is. I love Clutch's little laugh. He's a cutie. Right. We are going to have a lot of Broken Hearts coming up very, very shortly. That is, like, somewhat a concern of mine, but I'm just going to ignore those concerns for right now. Yeah, we have a lot of Broken Hearts in going to the next floor here. We need to get on with removing a few. Secret room is probably here. Yeah. Key for clearing the room is rather nice. Wasn't expecting it. Just, just literally stood there and accepted my fate, apparently. I'm not quite sure what was happening with my brain there. A luck penny as well. Nice. Not going to bother with the pills. Right, I'll check the shop out, why not? Nah. Right, down we go. Down we go. Stairway. Pretty beautiful here. That's some spicy chicky nuggies right there. Oh my goodness, I did not expect to see a three broken heart cost item. Let's not take that, let's just take the Jesus juice and be relatively happy with that. I don't know if I can hit both of these in one, um, but honestly, I'm going to blow this guy up rather than the angel statue, because we're going to get more angel statues as we go, and this guy's going to give us stats for sure. Um, yeah, Jesus juice, not the best item to grab there, but certainly decent enough. I love the noise this buff makes as well. Oh, just like holy noise. But yeah, didn't think there'd be um, anything quite like a three cost broken heart item, but there you go. We need to find sack rooms really and start getting rid of some of these broken hearts. Better hear you. We're making sure to get as much money as we possibly can. Oh, that. It's just, it's unbelievably beautiful how good this book is. I cannot express my gratitude for this book. It just does so much. It just, it's non-stop laugh a minute fun. Kills all the small enemies. Makes them all rain with, with tears. It's just, how can you not love it? Boom. You've been bombed, fella. Right, where the hell are we going here? A little bit lost. We got a soul heart there. That's good to know about because we can use a sack room if we get one. Get rid of that enemy. Get rid of that guy. Almost. I don't know what enemy we um we have racer this floor, to be honest. 25% chance to replace an enemy with a glitched gape when entering a room. Hmm. I don't know how how much better a glitched gaper is for us, to be honest. I'm not sure if we'd rather have a glitched gaper or not. I guess we're about to find out. Put myself in a bad situation here, haven't I? Okay, that kind of worked out, actually. The explosive immunity and everything that we have. Okay. Get out of here, you. Another soul heart there. That's real good. That's real, real good. Do all of this shenanigans. Press all these buttons. I should be using bombs more often. We've got bomb immunity and golden bombs. It's like a no-brainer right now. 
didn't mean to take the item bollocks. Well, I guess we have it now. That was a big oopsie. An absolutely ginormous oopsie. Uh, that has certainly put things into a slightly less favourable position for us, I would say. We're going to really need that sack room very, very shortly. Yeah, our damage is, is fine now, but like, yeah, this is a bit scary. Bit scary. Too many pills. Just need a sack room, game. Or more methods to remove broken hearts. Either or. Whatever comes first. I don't even know what enemy I killed there. Damn it, and we've got no mapping either, so I can't even tell if it is a sack room on this floor or not. We should have to go back and check. We've got hearts on the floor though, so it's plausible for us to use one if we do have one. That's the thing. It's pretty necessary that we that we check all avenues here. It's probably pretty pretty worthwhile to do this just for the potential of money. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm separate. I like pushing these two together because I have golden bombs. It's not a waste of bombs. It's just such a habit to do this that like you can't not. Hmm. I think we want to be taking that right. We kind of have to take that. Beautiful. Look out the most annoying enemy. Fear is helping out immensely here. Still though, damage even with Jesus Juice and the uh, Dark Matter shots. Not great. It's just okay. Just okay. Rather nice to see. I really thought Clutch's Curse did like a lot more damage than that. I thought it was like an Ipecac shot, but clearly it is not even close to that. So many keys, game. So many keys. That was rather nice. Cool. Okay, so it doesn't look like we get a sack room this floor, which is going to make taking whatever angel deal we get on the next floor... A lot more difficult, I think. Well, hello. Got to do my due diligence and make sure I've checked everywhere. But I really can't be sure. That secret room could be here. We just whip that up. Head on to the next floor, pretty much. Ah, oh, scary times. Scary times. We're playing with fire at this point. We really are. Because, like, if I get, like, a godhead or something now, I know I don't have, like, sacred heart, should I say. I'm going to have to pay three broken hearts for it. And you know, you know I'm going to do it, too. Like, that's the thing. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to not do that. Get out of here. Why is this one costing me a broken heart now and the others didn't? Um, yeah, I'm not going to take that. It's a good item, but I just can't afford it, especially with a stairway incoming. Unfortunately, not good, but I will work with this guy to get him deaded. My bad. Didn't really mean to blow him up, but honestly, it's kind of nice to have him out of the way. Oh, damn. These guys are taking forever to kill. Our damage just feels really low. Like, we have a lot going for us, and also very little all at the same time. 
I always really like, like the fact that Stairway has a few other things for sale as well as the item. Nice. We got that going at least. Right. See what we can do. It's it's weird. We're kind of in like a, a situation where we're slightly struggle bussing, but also we have. Do you know what? Skip this room for now. This is what I was hoping for. Good. Basically, I wanted to do that so that I could come in here and then do that. <laughs> And it just makes the whole room a hell of a lot easier on us. Oh, that was a good hit, good sir. A good hit. You out. You out. Makes our life a lot easier to just take them all out like that. These big rooms. Super nice that we can instantly have a charge back for. Didn't kill all these guys though. I think I, th I think it's because they're off screen. I think it like it only affects enemies that it can see, that, like uh, in your know, visual range sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure. This room a hell of a lot easier. Okay, you guys are annoying as all hell. Oh, that noise. I hear him tippy tap. You spawned your little babies too close to you. That's not fair. Okay, we got him. We got him. Don't need to use it for this room. Freeze. That room we can definitely use it for because it's a good old chain reaction. Get out of here, dip. This ain't the world for you. <sighs> Morbid Heart doesn't do anything for us, I don't think. Yeah, Morbid Heart can't even pick up. Sad, sad times. Ooh, beautiful. Blessed Penny helping us out there. Still no sack room, which is slightly upsetting. I'd very much like to have a sack room very, very soon. Base chance, eh, it's not really super good for us, that is it. Just cleared the whole damn room. Awesome. Sadly, not an item we can take right now. It's a good item, but it's not gonna work for us. Don't know why that guy flew off, there was still a poop right here. can get into here, but again, we probably won't take whatever it is, because it's going to cost us. Unless it's a really good boss item, it's going to be a hard sell. Yeah, that is not something I'm going to take. Plus two luck is good, but we're at minus 5.66. I'm going to say that luck doesn't really make much of a difference just right now. I will check this out. The hell item is this? I have absolutely no idea what that is. It scares me. It looks like it would deal damage to me, and I, I can't afford to do that right now. You watch. It was like, removes a broken heart. This guy hits me a lot, so I've got to be slightly careful. Mainly with this attack here, so... Seed with caution, indeed. You got that. We did get just a devil deal here, not an angel deal, which is actually preferable for us right now. Uh, first of all, let's just bomb these guys out the way. Black heart for that. I think we take this. We got another black heart there. More. We got a half soul heart there, another half soul heart there, one more, 
Okay, we'll, we'll leave it there. We've taken that as far as we should. Down to the next floor. Okay. Okay, we've despiced ourselves a little bit here. Got ourselves back down to a reasonable level. Seraphim for two. Seraphim for two. It's not a great deal. Nah, I'm not going to take it. I will buy the Soul Heart, though. Okay. Not too bad, I don't think. Oh my god, it cleared the whole room. That's like the dream. Yeah, having Death's Touch here for the extra damage and then obviously piercing as well is a huge get on top of that. Did lower our fire rate a little bit to slightly gross levels, but I can accept it. It's kind of funny to see which enemies have higher HP. I wouldn't have expected these little babies to have higher HP than the knights there. Keep swimming. Beautiful. That was that was lovely. Maybe Clutch's damage is based on our damage, and that's why it's been so low. Oh, dude, that guy has spectral. Didn't know that. The shot went straight over the top of them rocks and hit me. I just wasn't sort of prepared for that to happen. Clutch is Clutch is kind of coming in clutch. I'll be honest. Doing a fine and dandy job. Right, check out what's going on in here. Maggie's bow. Maggie's bow doesn't have any cost associated with it because it's basically just a HP up. I think anything that's just a HP up and doesn't do anything else for us is free for us to take, which is quite quite nice to be honest. Um. The options thing is a bit too late, I think. Let's look for secret room here, and then um, we can try and use the mysterious gift there. Although, is it really worth it with the amount of... Nah, I, I, I don't think it's worth it with the, the possibility of the angel deals we could be getting. Let's for the boss here. This this boss is, is one that hits me quite a lot. I'm going to be um, throwing a lot of bombs his way. Hurst, little Hurst hat thing, you uh, kind of helped me out a ton there. Really, really cool boss design. This is one of my one of my uh, bosses from Fiend Folio that I actually just really like. I know blasphemy for me to say a good thing about a Fiend Folio boss, but genuinely really enjoy those bosses. Or that boss, should I say. Go. Um, extra damage, 25% chance to survive a fatal blow, chance to smite enemies that damage you, guaranteed if you survive a fatal blow. Sounds kind of interesting, I'll take it. Fortunately, that wasn't so good. Also gave us damage up, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, it's only got a one cost and it would give us bookworm, so it's kind of tempting. It's also a little bit of a slap in the face at the same time, so... Something I'm curious about here. If I split this guy into like the smallest forms and then use my book, nah. I was like, will it kill all the small forms? Because they are bosses technically. But I had to try it. I didn't think it'd work, but it was worth trying. Oh, of course I take my first pill and speed down. This is why I don't take pills in some runs. Some runs I'm all four pills, but some runs I just decide at the start of the run. It ain't, it ain't my day. And today was a day that I should have stuck to my guns, because it clearly wasn't my day. Oh my god, walked right into that one. Quite literally walked right into, right into that one. Um, go here. And we'll go here. Perthro is rather nice. In fact, Perthro we should probably just use straight away up on our book and see if we get anything better. Gimpy. 
Yes, I'm going to take Gimpy. Just because... It didn't actually cost us anything, I don't think. Uh, just because it could be very useful if we get more Sanguine Bond Spike players or Sacrifice Rune players. Water is incredibly lovely right now. Didn't cost us anything either. I think they've re like removed the cost off a bunch of items that used to have cost, you know. Because I swear the quarter used to cost something. I think it was bef I think before it was entirely based on item quality. Now there seems to be some specific exclusions, which I think is a really, really nice touch. In fact, the the the, the Mastema character got an update recently. It's what made me want to play it. Let me go check the, the patch notes to see if anything was specifically said about that, because this might be a very new part of the update. Last updated Mastema, there you go. It was like updated earlier today. Um. It doesn't say anything specific. Satanic Rituals now have their own dedicated room type. Ritual rooms. The room has a 5% chance of replacing the floor sacrifice room, increasing by 1% for every devil deal taken in the run. Don't even know what that is. Um, half the chance of items in red treasure rooms being from the devil pool. My stemma now gains wisps from his pocket active while holding Book of Virtues. Tainted Mastema has received a number of tweaks. No longer starts with Satanic Bible. Didn't even notice that. Active items now cost broken hearts when first picked up. Items in the Devil Room and Black Market no longer cost additional soul hearts. Now also starts with Devil's Crown and has the effect of duality. Items in the Treasure Room now has a 50% chance of being from the Devil Pool. Defeating Uriel and Gabriel in the Angel Room now spawns a confessional in the room. Um, blacklisted Battery Pack, Booster Pack. Uh, mid Treasure Room is more aesthetically fitting. Okay, lots of good stuff there. Lots of good stuff. I'm liking it. This is kind of a, a, a new showcase of the newer version of this guy, I guess. Oh, that poison hurt me. My bad. You with that. Mini battery. Health is just a little bit eh right now. Hey, there's a half soul heart back there. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back to me. Right, pop that down. We've seen the item room. Shop we don't particularly care about. We just kind of, kind of go. Oh, we got the Fiend Folio version of this. Slight whiff there. Ah, oh, I keep mistiming the uh, usage of that. Okay, though, we've almost got her now. Okay, I think we we take dark path here. I think. We take this. And this is kind of an interesting one, because there's a bunch of spikes here that <laughs> aren't the real spikes we need. That gives us two black hearts. Awesome. We get damage up from this as well. Take the prank cookie. And we go. Very risky play, the amount of hearts I just get, get, got rid of there. But I'm trying to open up room to, to play Stairway more often. Um, like, Heart Shaped Balloon. It's difficult, Heart Shaped Balloon, because it's it's potentially pretty darn good. When Isaac takes damage, the balloon pops, dropping its corresponding heart. Balloon regenerates in the next room. Uh, see, it's it's like it's it's kind of good, but for three broken hearts, it's quite quite expensive. I'm gonna take it anyways. Play along with it. Play along with it. It's just it's one of those things where it's kind of like if I'm getting hit, it's probably already a bit too late for me. Holy shit, that was. Oh my god, this is a really rough room. You need to die very very soon. Holy shit, that room is rough. But 
good thing is here we still have this active. Regardless of how high an enemy's HP is, it still works. Put that guy to sleep. Nice. Bow. Extra bombs. I like it. Yeah, we've un unfortunately stairway. We've really not not gotten anything particularly amazing from stairway yet. Heart shape balloon is the best thing we've got thus far, and it's it's kind of one of those items that's like not really that good because it's like it, it it requires us to get hit. But then again, that mixed with gimpy, it's like an interesting mix. It definitely only works for enemies that are currently on screen for you. I definitely should have killed all of these guys at once there, but because I couldn't see these guys, he got away. See, that one just popped and gave us an eternal heart. I think if you keep it alive long enough, it just gives you an eternal heart. So in that in that regard, it's really good. I can't remember how many rooms it takes to do that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so si after six rooms, it gives us an eternal heart. That's actually pretty damn good. Or at least I think that's how it works. It might not always be an eternal high. It gives. This guy's looking a bit creepy. Not a particularly big fan of how this room is panning out right now. This guy's just spawning fetuses like crazy. Okay. Oh, I thought we goddamn got him then. Okay, we should have killed the, the latches on. Yeah, still need a little bit more damage to really bring this, elevate this run up a little bit. But it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. So yeah, now it's a full, it's a full soul heart that it would drop if we got hit. This is a sack room here, so we could technically use this if we get enough HP to, to warrant it. Don't like the idea of you. Do you know what? I'm going to throw a bomb down here and just clean up some space for me to shoot you from. And yeah, okay. So it does work like that. That's pretty darn good. I like that a lot. It means even if... Oh my god, that's such a bad hit. Even if you're not um, getting hit, it's still doing stuff for you. But this guy, does he take damage? Last time I fought him, he took damage, so I'm hoping he does this time. Is this another vet, another time I'm fighting this guy where he doesn't take any damage? Oh no, he took damage there. He's taking damage now. Okay, we're, we're breaking through the, uh, the hard exterior. Still not very used to this guy's attack patterns. He's very new to me, so don't blame me if I get hit against him. He's a really, really cool new version of Skolex. I really like it. Very stylistic. Very, very nice. Hmm. This is tricky. I think I think we still go Devil Deal here. I was just about to say, in the hopes we get Black Hearts. And then we go one, two, one equals power is not what I'm looking for here. Take this. In fact, We'll take one equals power in this in this instance. Okay. Next floor is definitely a bit risky here with the uh, the old stairway. See what we end up getting. Hmm. I think we just take these two soul hearts. We can smelt this for ten cent. I'll certainly do that. So many soul hearts here. Okay. There's not going to be a sack room on this floor now, is there? But I really would hope there would be because we've got a lot of HP to work with now. I realize we just spent a lot of our money that we just picked up uh, thingy for. Money equals power for, but don't worry about it. It's fine. 
Did I just kill an enemy that was meant to be invincible with this book? I think I did. Good to know. Vibrant Bulb is um, potentially an interesting one, especially now that we've got room for it. So, I'm trying to think of what would be... Let's see how many stats we get from Vibrant Bulb first. It's not all that great, I'll be honest. So, I don't, I don't think we want to be, like, holding on to it. Yeah, it literally it can kill invincible enemies. Really good to know. Really damn good to know. I'm trying to think what I want now from the Angel deal that isn't just, like, the best items available. But yeah, I suppose we need rooms where we don't want to use our active because the, um, the enemy types are easy. Like rooms like this. We get to keep the stats. Didn't really know what was going on in that room, I'll be honest. This is a good one to use the book in. It's an easy. Just about to say, I'm not quite sure what those guys do. Kind of funky, I like that attack pattern. And then here, I don't want to use my active because I want to keep the stats for the boss because the active is useless on the boss. I mean, it's not completely useless to kill these guys, the eyes, but I'm not going to use it for that. Get as many bombs in there as we possibly can. Clutch! Don't knock my bombs away, please. It's kind of rude. Not bad. We're going dark path here. Stairway is very much still in play here. Kind of wish I had 30 cent right now, though. Spear of Destiny isn't going to do much for us. Our keys are not very useful here, so we'll take this. I guess we'll go with this. Ah, oh, I did that the wrong way around. Cool. Guppy's Collar. We don't have any of the Guppy items right now, so that's not super valuable for us. Money. This thing's paying out like crazy right now. I'm just gonna keep giving it keys to be honest. Ah, bugger, and then it finally gave me something I didn't want. Yeah, unfortunately our stairway dev uh, our stairway deals have just not really been very good. But that Freak hit me. I didn't think that thing could hit me. Yeah, I got a soul heart back anyway, sorry. God damn, these guys are gnarly looking. Knife wielding maniac. Weird, this this build just doesn't feel ready for this stage in the game, but it's kind of working. Oh you buggy, you come back from the other side of the screen. I forgot that about you. <laughs> Don't want to deal with you two. Therefore, I shan't. I see. You moved around. You teleported. Oh! For fuck's sake. We got a soul heart back from that. The balloon is helping out when we're, when we're making big mistakes. We only got rid of one of these guys at least. The other guy decided he wanted to stay and hide. Couldn't really remember what I was meant to be doing there. We'll pop the strength card in here. Nice bit of quick damage on this guy. A little bit too early on the bomb there. Can I, I always mistime that specific bomb. Love it when you have enough bombs to just use them like crazy against bosses. Oh, 
Bombs are a little hard to use against this phase, just because of the uh, the rock slams. We got through that. Unlocked the Shattered Soul. One more stairway to see if it can make... It's a make or break stairway, this is. Um, and it, 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 it broke. <laughs> Do you know what? That's, that's good enough to take for now. Right, see what we got going on here. Hmm. Sin robes, good for damage. Ah, this is rough. Some of these are interesting, but... Hmm. I'm going to take... This is a bit of a weird decision. I'm going to take Monster Manuel, uh, because it gives us Bookworm, and then it means we can get a bunch of familiars for the floor, ready for um, ready for the boss fight. And my basic thinking here is just hope for some really good familiars. I mean, we already got one. Uh, Rubber Baby, or Rubber Fly, sorry, is, is really good. Um... And we, we hope for, like, a sci-fly and stuff like that. Like, it's obviously big asks. It's unlikely we're going to get. But our other book is great, but not very useful on this floor because it's mainly bosses and definitely not very useful on the actual boss because at that point... Oh, dude. Uh, excuse me? Um, Because at that point, we can't... Like, we're fighting a boss. We're not going to get any minions to kill, so... These goddamn skellies. So yeah, we want to be making, like, we want to be doing all the rooms we can to try and get as many uh, charges as possible. So we can get as many chances of good familiars as possible. That is my thought process as of now. You do an absolute launch, don't you? Oh, dude, those little fire things, why do they damage me? Clutch is an absolute troll. They should not damage me. I did not think that they damaged me. It's just weird. So I don't know why these guys are dropping health like absolute crazy, but... I ain't gonna complain. Is it something to do with Gimpy? Maybe this character has like a chance for red hearts that spawn to be turned into soul hearts. Because that's what happened with my Queen of Hearts. And Queen of Hearts definitely isn't supposed to be able to spawn. Um It definitely isn't supposed Oh, Snake, that's good. It isn't supposed to be able to spawn, what's it called? Um Soul Hearts. So this character might just have an inherent chance for red hearts to become soul hearts. What the fuck hit me then? No idea. You're gonna launch these at me at high speed. Yes, you are. Need more soul hearts, game. Things are looking pretty risky right now. Do not like the bearings of this room here. Kind of scare me quite a lot. God, how did I not get hit then? What on earth is going on over there? So many Bernie boys. I've enraged this one as well. Yeah, so far so good on the familiars gained. Okay, you just duplicate. What? I'm going to need to kill this guy quick. There you go. Don't hit me! Oh my goddamn god. So goddamn frustrating. And then, then we get ball of bandages this time. Okay, not great. Right, we just gotta go for the boss now. We do have mini godhead now. We have godhead aura shots from our trinket every now and again, but no herming on them. Just the aura. Oh, 
auch ja. Body's dead at least. Dude, so many herming shots. And they're like they're like fake herming too, where like sometimes they don't herm, sometimes they do, and it's very confusing. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? My goodness, right. Unfortunately, due to our luck, we didn't get any chests on this floor either. Not a single one. Seeing if I get another charge, but that seems genuinely pretty good. I'm gonna take it. Holy shit! Managed to get a soul out of that. Okay, it's go time, baby. It's go time. Don't know how this is gonna go. We've not got really great health for it, but it, it just is what it is, isn't it? We now have Herming at least, which is nice. Herming, Piercing, and Spectral. Spectral obviously doesn't really matter. I don't like the situation you're putting me in here, Mr. Satan Man. Oh, fuck. I think with the occasional godhead shots coming in, this is actually pretty good. I'm doing good enough damage. Our fire rate has really been another issue. Like, that's I think that's been a reason why my DPS has felt so low. It's just my fire rate is so abysmal. One horsey boy. I like where one hand spawned right as I deleted the other one. I pinned those two together apparently, that's rather nice. You're raging as well. Get those bombs away from me. Don't spawn any mega troll bombs on me either, please. This is always the, the scariest bit. There's just so much going on when you get to this stage. <sighs> Bound to get hit at least once, and I did. Okay, so we just have to kind of see how the rest of this goes. This, like, from this point onwards, it, it's not so bad. Second phase can be... It depends. Second phase can be anything from, like, absolutely terrible to completely, like, push over. It really depends. I forget that these angels have, like, their own attacks now. It's kind of scary. At least he's telegraphing when he's going to do that now. We're going to get him into second phase for sure, but getting out of second phase is going to be a whole different story. It'd be nice if going into second phase recharged your active, kind of like in the beast. This is a long fight. It's not super necessary, but it'd be nice. Luckily, the second phase does have less health, but unfortunately, we got one of the worst attacks first. Worst is first. This is it's not completely terrible, but it's relatively hard to dodge. Luckily, we do have our Robofly, which is somewhat dealing with it. Actually dealt with it pretty well. The Fires is another bad one. I think I've chosen poorly here, haven't I? First hat could save me. Apparently, I took two damage in one hit there. Not quite sure how that happened. 
Anyways, that was a good try. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.